All right, so welcome to Fast Track, uh, your VIP result based membership. Uh, for the next 12 months, you're going to be working with me and helping you achieve your weight loss goals and your weight loss goals as well as your business goals. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to make that happen. And by the end of this, we're going to write out what our goals are. And I'm going to commit that to you in writing mm -hmm. that I work with you until you achieve that goal. Okay. And then after you achieve that goal, I'm going to support you and make it a sustainable goal. All right. Until you decide, you know what, I'm ready for something else to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get started with the fast track and transforming your body. I want to share the statistic about America a little bit. I'm for making a difference, making a really big impact and splash for America. I want America to be healthy. And so this is my cause. This is the cause that I'm after. And there's a theme here that's running with all the resources that we have in America. We are, we are dying with owing people over $60,000 on average. Over 73% of Americans die owing somebody money. Okay, that is unacceptable in my opinion. Uh, the other thing is our average credit score is 673. It's low. Mm -hmm. um, it should be over 800. It shows what kind of integrity we have. Again, we're owing people things and we're mm -hmm. constantly in debt. And then over um, 150 million Americans, age 20 plus, are overweight or obese. Again, we're overweight between uh, the hips and between the ears. And the reason I point this out is I, I want to take a look at America's theme here. Mm -hmm. What's the theme? We overconsume, mm -hmm. we overeat, and we're underfed. How is that, yeah, <laughs> right? I ask myself that sometimes, <laughs> right? How is that we have all this, but we don't have all this? So let's uh, make America healthy. And let's take a look, first of all, at the statistics. I like to look at numbers of where people are spending their money. This is from 2017. Uh, you're based uh, on American average annual expenditure of over $57,000. So everybody. Uh, on average, they spend fifty-seven thousand dollars. Where they spend most of their income is on home mm -hmm. and transportation, and thirteen percent on food and insurance and healthcare, which is really ultimately both the same. Twelve and eight is twenty percent. So between home and their health, they're spending. This is where they're spending most most of their money. Mm -hmm. Okay, healthcare and insurance is is primarily uh, a a medical issue usually. That's where all the expenses come from. It's not preventative. Okay, there's nothing that says here that we're investing a lot in preventing. Now, depending on how you, how you move about your, uh, how you travel and how you eat, that could be pre preventative. So, mm -hmm. let's take a look at um, you know, how we can make those changes. And over the years, and from studies that I've read ex and what I've experienced in, in working with companies, uh, when, especially when we're working with big companies like over 10,000 employees, there's, there's only so many things that I could do where we just m measuring one or two metrics to see if how the result of the company's uh, performing. And uh, one of the key things was most people are dehydrated or they're not moving enough. Mm -hmm. So we, when we ever addressed one of each one of these things, and um, automatically uh, consistently, uh, uh, people who participated lost 10% of body fat per year. So it means if you weighed 150 pounds and you consistently drank adequate amount of water or moved on a consistent basis, you lost 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. 15 pounds just by doing those two things yeah. and you do it consistently. So if you wanted to learn one little strategy or one new habit or two new habits, that's it. Make sure you hydrate every day and move. So if you're spending a lot of time studying, sitting down, you can study on a treadmill. I do that almost every morning. I spend about 45 minutes to an hour and I do all my reading as I'm walking. So oh, I'm cool. able to get 5,000 steps in the morning and during the day I'll get another four or 5,000 steps and then at night I may walk again for another 30 minutes and I'll get another two, 3,000 steps. So I'll hit my 10,000 steps per day. And as I'm doing that, I'm drinking my water mm -hmm. and I'm studying. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it, you can change your life to the better that way. So let's come join me. Will you join me in the taking the baby steps? Water, walk, log. Can you repeat that with me? Water, walk, log. Yeah, kind of rhymes, right? So log is the journaling. So yeah, so a journal. Mm -hmm. Keep a journal, whether it's a digital or written. And my favorite new, it's a vlog. 
vlog. <laughs> yeah, so a video of uh, your relationship to the water intake and to your daily activity, your daily movement. So every day you can go in our group or on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or wherever you are social and you can share about your initiative of making America healthy by being an example and that's how you lead other other people mm -hmm. right it's mm -hmm. just yeah you by, represent by it model. Mm -hmm. right it's Be simple model. anybody can do it right you want to make it complicated and people can lose 10, 10 to 15 percent body fat mm -hmm. and this can really shift America's health just yeah. by doing these three yeah. simple baby steps so are you in yeah okay awesome <laughs> are you in yes I Good. am All right.